A NASA engineers can exhale finally. They are circling the moon again. Making it look easy, right? They just wrapped up a critical maneuver to put the Artemis space capsule into a record-breaking lunar orbit. And as science editor Brian Hackney explains, the record was set one explosive night by the crew of the ill-fated Apollo 13. Now suddenly a space mission that got no one's attention suddenly had everyone's. We are interrupting our regularly scheduled programs to bring you this continuing coverage of the Apollo 13 flight. It was April 1970. Paul McCartney has left the Beatles. I'm a little late on that by a few days. Not many people were interested in the flight of Apollo 13. Three million fewer viewers watched the uh, space shot than did the last one. Until... An oxygen tank explodes. The Apollo 13 spacecraft has suffered a major electrical failure. The landing, captained by Jim Lovell, aborted. The mission itself, of course, was a failure. Instead of landing on the moon... We're running out of backup systems. All the crew could do was watch the far side of the moon pass underneath the command module. Okay, now let's everybody keep cool. We but they did set a record for being in the most distant human-capable spacecraft in history, a record that was never threatened until 1.52 p.m. Pacific time this afternoon. We're back with live views of the spacecraft now. Mission controllers completed a distant retrograde orbit insertion burn, locking Orion in the first lunar orbit with a human-capable craft since we left the moon 50 years ago. So it looks like we had a good burn. It and this is just the latest step. And liftoff of Artemis 1. We rise together. It has been a nail-biting nine days from liftoff. All four RS-25 engines. To separation of stages and abort systems. And giving a new generation a new Earth rise over the limb of the moon. The main key here is to have a successful mission so that we can start looking forward to being able to fly astronauts out to the moon. Because of this afternoon's burn, Orion will now become the most distant human-capable craft ever launched from Earth except there are no humans aboard. What is the target date for getting boots back on the moon? Late 2025 is what we're aiming for, for Artemis III to land our astronauts on the moon, yes. Do you see that as highly likely as a target date or highly unlikely? Uh, right now I see it as likely. But almost no one expects NASA to hit that target date. At the moment, they'll be glad if they just get the space capsule back in one piece. Hey, there it is. There, there it is. Just as they were in 1970 when Apollo 13 suddenly got people interested in spaceflight again. They've broken out the cigars. I'm science editor Brian Hackney, KPIX 5 News. If you'd like to follow along with the Artemis mission, we posted several links to KPIX.com along with Brian's story. And meanwhile, you can check out the view from the Orion capsule. It snapped these incredibly detailed images of the lunar surface from about 80 miles up. That's a stone's throw as astronomical distances go. And because everybody else is doing it, the capsule also took a selfie. Of course. <laughs>